In this video, we're going to go ahead and try to create this dolphin by using light burn, tracing something, and then back into fusion. So let's get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is just go online and find a picture of a dolphin. So I'm going to search dolphin, uh, but I'm going to put coloring page because it gives me a black and white picture. The one that I used uh, on the first fusion part that I showed you was this one here. So I'm going to right click the picture and open it in a new tab. And then using my snipping tool here, I'm actually going to do what's called a three form snip and then just draw around the dolphin. So after I draw on the dolphin, uh, I'm going to save the picture, and I will just call it anything I want. And this one I'll just call it Dolphin Two. And then let's go inside of our software called Lightburn. And inside Lightburn, we are going to import that dolphin. So import. There's Dolphin Two. And with it selected, we're going to use the trace feature, trace image, and it creates lines all over that dolphin right there. And then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to delete the image after I uh, trace it like that. And then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to rotate it just a little bit here, just so it's not as vertical as it's jumping there. Uh, and then I'm going to see here about anything I can get rid of. So I'm going to get rid of actually, I'm going to ungroup it here, it's this little silhouette. That, if I select this dolphin, it selects all the lines. So by ungrouping it, now I can select some individual lines. So in this dolphin, I'm actually going to get rid of the inner part of this eye, like that. And then everything else I can leave. And now I'm ready to export it. So that's it. We use trace. And now I can export it. So I could just click File Export. Uh, actually, before I do that, what I could do is I could actually cut this out. Uh, and to cut it out, maybe I would have to change the powers here a little bit. And the inside lines, instead of cutting them out, so like that line here, I can make it a different color. And I could etch it in there. So maybe I'd want to do that with all our inside lines. You know, maybe I'd want to cut out the eye. And then we can see that all the inside lines would be blue. And then the outside lines are going to be black, so it cuts it out. And so I could laser cut this dolphin if I wanted to, just like that. And now if I preview that, we would see that it would quickly etch out the inside, not cut all the way through the material. Then it's going to go around and it's going to cut out the entire outside. So we could have a, a dolphin cut out. However, the last thing I want to do is I have to change the size of this dolphin. The dolphin, if I select the entire thing, is five inches wide. I want to make it s smaller than that. I'm going to make this one about two and a half inches wide. And that would save on time. To laser cut this entire dolphin out it would only take about 11 seconds, uh, which is pretty cool. So let's take this, though, and we put, a, put it inside a Fusion so we can make a 3D model of it. So instead of importing, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to export it as a DXF. So I'm just going to save it as Dolphin. Overwrite the other one. And then I'm going to go inside a Fusion. I'm going to start a new part here and create a sketch. And on that sketch, I'm going to insert that DXF of the Dolphin. The last thing I'm going to do is change it to millimeters so it's the same size. If I zoom way out, we should be able to see the dolphin. There it is, way up here in the top margin. So I'm just going to put him closer to the origin, like that, and then click OK. And now we have our dolphin. 
Now I can go ahead and I can start extruding that dolphin. So I'm going to finish the sketch and extrude. And the first thing I'm going to do, two different extrusions for the dolphin. One, I'm going to extrude it outward, so all the inside parts of this dolphin. I'm going to extrude, and I'm going to turn this, and I'm going to extrude it towards us. And I'm going to say I'm going to extrude a distance of maybe 0.1 inches. And we will create a new component with that. And click OK. Now with that new component selected, I'm going to make this sketch visible again. So I go back to the sketches and make it visible. And on the back side of the dolphin, I'm almost going to do the same thing. I'm going to extrude, but I'm going to add all the outside parts too. So I zoom way in here, you see that the outside profile there. And then I'm going to add all the inside profiles, just like I did before. And I want to make sure I'm going in the correct direction. So I'm going to go the other way. Looks like I don't have everything selected yet. I want to select the overall big one here also. And then it looks like I got to select this one up top here. And we're going to join that. And so let's see, I think I got all of them selected now. And I'm going to click OK. And there is the dolphin extruded. I think it was extruded a little far, so I'm actually going to go back to that extrusion and edit it a second. It shouldn't be too difficult. And I'm going to make that extrusion a lot smaller. So maybe point negative point zero two five, just a little extrusion. Try that. All right, that looks better. I'm going to hide that sketch now we see that we have our dolphin here now that's going through there so we got a little eye in there still but we notice that it actually has an entire backing oh I missed a little bit of extrusion so when we're looking at our dolphin here here's the one that it has a back to it now and so it's flat on the back side uh, but it has some space on, on this side so we can actually see the definition of the dolphin so from light burn to fusion is how we did that dolphin